Hello, FSG. How you doing? Good morning, Args. How are you? I'm doing well, mate. Doing well. Looking forward to getting the rest of this wheat harvested. So uh, it was a good chore to get done on the live stream, getting this field done. Uh, we've got the one over the road to get done now too. Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, good live stream last night. I ran like clockwork after we opened the the, the field heads. It was uh, smooth sailing, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly was. It was. It went went very well, which was nice. I didn't even actually look to see how much uh, wheat we ended up with. Did you? No, I did not actually. No, might be worth oh, a look. I might take a t take a quick peek now. That's not bad. Five hundred and sixty-six thousand liters. It's not bad at all, really. When you think when what will come off this field as well, that's uh, that's a good uh, good amount. Well, it's two hundred thirty-one thousand. So you add the two hundred eighty gram worth of barley together. That's over half a million dollars, and we're only what seven hundred fifty thousand away from being clear of our debt. So you tell you what, this wheat might just about do it. That's right, and I think um, yeah, we could maybe chat to the bank manager and confirm that that debt's been cleared, even though the crops aren't sold yet. The uh, the equity's there, isn't it? It is. It is. And uh, well, to top things off, we've got a local farmer who caught the live stream wants to buy our straw. He thought it was going to waste, just uh, chopping it up and throwing it on the ground. So he's going to pop around. He's got a couple of tractors and balers he's going to let us use, and we're going to bail that up for him, and he'll come past and pick the bales up later and pay us a tidy sum for them. Well, nice. That's uh, even more in the bank then, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. No, I thought I wasn't going to say no to that opportunity. No, good call, definitely. Right. Well, uh, let's go and get these combines up and going. We're going to run all three of them on course play and carry on driving grain carts and trucks and things like that. Yep, that worked well last night, so let's uh, let's do that again. All right, let's get to it. Go and, I would say go and choose your weapon, but you're going to take the one with jewels. <laughs> I always. Always, always predictable. It's predictable as leaving dirty equipment around the yard. Hey, I'm getting better. You are, you are. Right, let's get going. Let's do it. Hello everyone, how are we doing? That's right, we are going to jump over to this other field. That sounds like quite an interesting deal, Argsy struck up with a neighbour. So we'll uh, definitely take his money if he wants our straw. More than happy to help him. Let's see if we can navigate this uh, road now. There's quite a lot of traffic on here, I'm going to wait for this white car to go past and I think there's something coming the other way now, yep. Let both of these go and I'll... Uh, I'll be clear. There we go. We'll save ourselves for um, later because course play's going to. We don't want course play cutting stuff we've already cut. Seems uh, seems a bit unnecessary, but it does help Arg's doing it here that we can get the trailers and things in. Now we did have an auto drive course here. We had a problem with our game save a while back, which meant we lost lost a few uh, few things that we'd set up like auto drive and course play courses, but. Um, Kind of hoping there might be an auto drive loop in the end of the field here, where we can stick the uh, stick the trucks, which will make things easy to unload. We'll just check when we get down to the end. If not, it should be quite an easy one to link back up. It's just a loop here because we were using auto drive last night for the um, for the live stream, so it would just need to go to the junction really um, and connect up to the existing course there. But it could well be here. In fact, we can look while we're here. Tell us straight away. And it is. Field 15 load. So, we are all sorted. Right, I've just jumped into the fence. We'll grab that and we'll run that back over as well. Join the guys. Wait for the traffic again. This traffic could be interesting with auto drive, actually. Stops for no one. It could get interesting on that big junction. But we were running with traffic last night and it worked it worked the whole time. I think we had one little incident where things got snarled up, but other than that, it worked well, so we shall see. The other truck is down there as well. I shall make an effort and go and get that. And the last truck. There we go. while we're driving we can change this to field 15 load and we've got the right course set up there we go so yes this is the little junction could cause us a few problems as you can see 
<laughs> it's a little bit of a lottery. So hopefully it will not cause us too many problems. It should stop for the traffic, actually. It won't barrel straight through them. It should stop, he says. We shall see. Anyway, let's get this down to the field. It's getting quite busy down there at the moment. Because he managed to put 50% into that combine just going along that headland so it just shows you what the yield is in here but um, we've nearly got the combine sorted so should be able to get things started now like I said the uh, the actual position for the trucks is into the second row so we're, we're going to have to park the trucks on the edge before we uh, before we use the auto drive course just for the first round but after that we should be fine if I just turn it on for a second here you can see where it goes so I'm going to just get this out of the way a little bit and we'll roll them into place once the combines have been passed the first time so there we go, all three combines away heading over to the other side of the field to start the reason for that was um, course by the, the way we were setting up course plate and the field uh, dimensions on this map not always being perfect for course plate meant that uh, it was picking up more than one field but we found a point at which it didn't pick up the other fields so that's where we're starting it does mean I'm going to run down to this headland and try and grab this combine before it gets too full because like I said just there, with that 50%, just from running that headland from Args, he's going to be full pretty quick. Now this guy I'm going to leave, because he's running along the bit that Args has already cut. But other than that, we are going to be chasing these combines for a fair bit. Now the other thing I want to check is he's put straw swath on, which it looks like he has. It's the sort of thing Argsy would definitely remember to do, and I would not remember to do. FSG to Args. Go ahead, mate. Just saying our auto drive is set up for this field, field 15 load. Um, but I've just left the trucks out of the way while we um, cut the first headland out. So they don't yeah, clash. Cool. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Very good, good idea. That was already about 30% off this combine full, just doing that short little bit. So it's insane, like isn't it's it? going to be another bumper yield. There you go, 30% away from full in that first combine. And I think its hopper is ever so slightly bigger than these ones. So that's even more scary. What I'll do, I'll get to the end here and I'll probably try and set up the, uh, the auto drive course. Right, there we go, one combine done. Here comes the third one, in fact. Let's just very quickly run and put these into position. The field 15 load, I should be able to just click this on. There's one. Right, field 15 load, second one. He's heading on his way as well. Now we've used this course before, so these should work perfectly. I better go and get that third combine, or he's going to be full. Yeah, look, pipe out. I was too slow. Would have been nice if we'd uh, got there before he'd filled, but that's all right. Right, I'm going to throw this onto a time lapse for you guys, so you can enjoy it at pace. It's not going to take us too long to do this, I don't think.
quick sit rep. We are running super, super smoothly. There is a lot of corn on, oh, wheat on here, but it's, um, it's working well at the moment. I am going to up, though, in here, in our auto drive settings, we are set to unload 85%. So I am going to bump it slightly so that they uh, leave with, there we go, unload fill level. Let's put that at 95%. Do the same in this one too. Unload fill level 95%. Then we can unload and they'll just put a little bit more in them before they leave. So, let's push on with it. Right, let's give you a quick update. We have got this last little strip in the field to do here. Um, the New Holland is almost empty, and the third combine needs a little bit of an unload, so we'll um, grab that in a little minute. You can see over there, just in the corner, Args has gone to get one of the balers from the neighbour farmer. We're going to start baling in a little minute. We have got through this field incredibly quickly, actually, and it has run like clock not even any issues on the headlands actually today so it's been super smooth which has been great um okay 80 percent that'll do we'll go and grab some from the third combine now but yeah i'm i'm astounded at how well this has run looks like Argus has bought both balers there nice um yeah it's been great so we're uh, looking forward to using this kit actually we haven't uh done anything with bailing in this series we couldn't afford to buy the kit we weren't allowed to the bank manager wouldn't let us so nice to be borrowing some kit from a neighbor farmer and he can have this straw we've already worked out a bit of a deal with him which we'll tell you about at the end but um as for this combining it has been super slick right let's get these last few bits done and then we will uh, maybe have a quick chat with Args before we dive into uh, running these balers. Which I'd like to think won't take too long either. We've got lovely straight rows here, so uh, we should batter through this quite quickly. And we don't have to pick it up, which is nice. It's not our straw, so we don't have to worry about loading it up. There we go, 100% full. Let's get this into the trailer. So we'll report back when the field is finished. There we go, we've got more than enough to fill this first trailer and probably half the second trailer, which will roll on in a little minute. In fact, has Argsy started? No. He's just going and tidying up stuff in the other combine, I think. Just getting these last little pieces that we've missed. Like this little clump here and down in the corner there. But here comes the other truck now. We'll get him unloaded. There we go. And then whatever's left in the combines, which we probably don't even need to run up and get. Because we'll run the combines down here. And unload them straight into the trailer, I think. There really isn't that much left. So, let me fold this pipe in. And we'll go and park this. Over here. So there we go. Combines are done. They just went to be unloaded, but we'll do that manually. So we'll run this one back, and then we'll come and get the second one. Get this into position. 
try and fill the first hopper first, shouldn't we? Now, we could stop the other truck from coming back, because we're not going to need him. But then again, even if he does come back, we'll just send him back to the yard. I don't think we'll need him anyway. We, it might be better to be on the safe side. Oh, because it's just getting those little bits down there still. i work out where to park this, where it's not going to be in the way of the balers. Up there, on the grass, I think. Enough space here. There we go. First hopper. And then second hopper here. And actually, what I'm going to do... While they're doing that, I'm going to change these courses. Because we don't need to come back to the field now. We should be able to send him to just a tip course. We can just send him to silo unload. I have to turn him off and on again. Back. Just don't go yet, mate. Any dogs, he's combine. Sorry, Ogs, I was just changing the course so he didn't come back. And he decided he wanted to leave. <laughs> That's right, I'm just going to knock the trailer over and get rid of it. Emptied all that in here. Well, that was pretty slick, Ogs. We got through that field in double quick time. Yes, three combines really chewed through the wheat very, very fast. Uh, and I'm looking at a couple of nice little balers over your shoulder. Yeah, I saw you brought those down. Um, nice hmm. to see some nice old case tractors there as well. Yeah, yeah, no, they pair pretty nicely with those couple of balers. So looking forward to giving those a run around here in the field and getting the straw bailed for the neighbour. Yeah, I bet it's not going to take us long as well. Those, uh, those balers look seriously mean. Mm, mm, no, they do some big bales and uh, hopefully they'll run at a decent clip. So I uh, guess we might as well go and jump into it. Let's do it. Right, here we go. We've got some proper old kit here. Well, it's not that old, is it? But it's uh, very nice, all the same. That 89.50 and I've got the 72.50. I'll let Args roll away here. Look at those pipes on that. How nice is that? Right, we'll get in ours, and we shall follow him. It's debatable whether you do headlands first or not, because you invariably end up with one in the way when you get on a turn, but as we're driving, we're not relying on automation for it. We can just dodge them, so we uh, spin things up. Lower the header down. Let's do this. row here. I think Args is just behind us. Yep, there he is. He's finishing up too. Um, there are a lot of bales on here. This has been quite good fun. These uh, these case tractors have got some grunt about them. But uh, there we go. All these bales and we need to count them up. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. We don't have the bale counter um, on this bale, which is interesting. I wonder if it's not a, uh, a multiplayer option. 
But um, we'll count these up. We'll work out what the farmer owes us. And we'll sort that out. But there we go. Finito. I'll just wait here for Args. See how he's doing. And then uh, we'll head back to the yard. Here he comes. And he is done. Unload his bales there. Like so. I hope you keep count. <laughs> I did, but I've forgotten. <laughs> ah, me too. That was quite good fun, wasn't it? It was good fun. A little bit of a shame that the uh, bail counter wasn't working. I don't know whether it's just because we're on a multiplayer server or what the deal is with that. Yeah, possible. Possible. Mm. Anyhow. Right, well, that's that job done. It is. The farmer's going to have fun coming and picking all of these up. I'm glad we're not doing it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we should probably give him his uh, bailers back now, shouldn't we? We probably should. How'd you find yours? Nice tractor. Yeah, I enjoyed my tractor, actually. Some Got some good grunt in it. You had a bigger engine than me as well. Well, I think they've actually, horsepower-wise, they're quite similar, but they both worked well. Did what they needed to. Nice row crop wheels on yours as well. You got some big, fat, wide ones on yours. Always, you know what I mean? I like a floater. Quite chunky. Yeah. <laughs> should, should. <laughs> Sign of good health. Yes, yes. Good diet. All right. <laughs> We're growing. Well, let's get these packed up and uh, I guess we head on back down to the yard. We've got a whole lot of equipment to sort out down there too. We do, we do. All right. See you down there. I'll see you back over there. Well, Ox, um, there we go. Bale's done. Back in the yard, everything tidied away. You have some, uh, you have some big news. I do have some big news. Um, this is my last ever video on farming simulator. <laughs> no, oh, don't be silly. Uh, no, the big news is we've got six hundred and eighty thousand dollars worth of crops between our wheat and barley sitting in our silos, which, added to that one point three six million, takes us forty thousand dollars over the magic two million dollar mark. So we've done it. Well. We've almost done it. We haven't sold it, but it's we done. We haven't sold it, but it's in there. That's enough for the bank manager to take, I think, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Plus, we put on a 10% yield bonus with our uh, precision farming crop efforts, and uh, that'll add another sixty or $70,000. And uh, not to forget, we've almost got 500 pigs sitting down in the piggery, and uh, some of those are worth almost $1,000. So there's over 100 grand worth of pigs sitting down there. Yeah, we have um, we've turned the fortunes of this farm around good and proper, haven't we? I can safely say that we have. So much so that we've had an offer to head to another farm. So um, we're going to be leaving Hannah, Indiana, and we're going to be heading off to somewhere new, which we're not going to announce just yet, but we'll, uh, you will find out in, all in good time. All in good time, yes, yes, we are going to make a move, and uh, this is obviously a little bit bittersweet. It's the last episode here on this farm, but uh, new adventures on the horizon, which is exciting. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And I, mm. I have to say, Args, I have genuinely really, really enjoyed this series on this on this map. It's been great. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a nice to get back to uh, the size and scale of farming. I'm not sure if we'll be quite the same in the next map. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, no, it's been fun. It has been good. And it's been a nice challenge. So it's nice to uh, pretty much tick that off. Yes, it has. It has. And uh, we've also decided that we're uh, going to release the game save with the updated map. And a list of the mods that we've used as well, aren't we? That's right. We'll zip everything up and uh, put it somewhere we can share that with anyone who would like to carry on the adventure here. And, uh, yeah, go for it. We loved watching everyone who did it on No Man's Land and carried on that little journey and how the farms there developed. So we'd love to be able to see someone do it here as well. That's right. And uh, there's some rather nice crops sitting in the ground that will be ready for harvesting in the not-too-distant future as well. So it'll mm, be a perfect mm, time to start to on. Yeah, lots of corn and a lot of soybeans, so... I reckon you could safely add another five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars onto that total as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Very good. All right. right. Well, uh, on that note, so we'll sign off. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ox. Like I said, mm. this has been brilliant. Hmm. It will be a few weeks until our next episode as well, uh, with FarmCon coming up. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, looking forward to finally meeting you in person, and uh, yeah. yeah, should be a great weekend at FarmCon as well. Yeah, hopefully you're better looking than this ugly thing standing in front of me. <laughs> uh, don't don't count. Uh, don't hope. <laughs> yeah, don't hold out much hope for that. <laughs> All right, mate. No, I am looking forward to it. It'll be fun. But anyhow, until then, take care. We'll catch you again soon. 
Yeah, likewise, mate. Take care. Bye bye. Right. See ya. So there you go, folks. Our time on Hannah, Indiana has come to an end. We nailed our target of 2 million and we've left it in a pretty good place to uh, hand over to somebody else. And if that somebody else might be you, you're more than welcome. We will uh, get the game save organised in the next few days and ready for you. And uh, you can uh, download it from probably myself and Argsy's Discord. So for now, from me, and from Args, thank you very much for the support in this series. And uh, we look forward to bringing you something a little bit new and a little bit different in the coming few weeks and months. Take care. Bye for now.